All right, this is a uh, video 290. I am actually got the hourglass Joe pipe set up. It has not been fired up. I'm just going to give you the overview while uh, so I have a little bit of light. Okay, here is the uh, roll of the the house, the flame, just to keep it from the wind. Your reducer, your one inch pipe. And you have your uh, reducer down from a two inch to an inch. You have your elbow. And uh, I have the one and a half inch by four inch uh, black pipe <coughs> kind of duct taped into the fan. You can hear the fan going there. I don't know if you can see it or not. And that's it. Well, I do have the other pipe going through. I did turn on the air here. I found out that uh, air was coming out of the back here too so I had to terminate the air flow for now. So we're just going to set up here. We're going to fire this up. I'm going to find a spot out of the rain. Okay. No, I'm getting rained out there. I'll fire it up. It's just a fire uh, start up just to see if it's going to work. All right, it's 4 30, December the 30th. Turning on the propane tank. Air is on low. Getting the mattress ready. Turning on the air, and so there's nothing inside the pipe. Just the hourglass itself. There is no heat reactor tube in the pipe at this time or swirl device. Okay, I hear the propane coming out. Let's see what happens. A little different sensation. There's a pulsation happening uh, right here. You can see it in the flame. She started up right away and quick response. The flame is at a level two. Or level one, pardon me. So I'm going to lower everything down here. Might have to drop the legs a bit here. Just give me a minute. There, you can see all the smoke coming off of the uh, block pipe. This is the initial run of the Joe pipe hourglass, and the result of this is to merge. The end result is to merge the Geek reactor tube with the Joe pipe in. And you hear that's we're going to actually use the drill pipe to heat the heat reactor, but we're going to have to pick up a compressor from somewhere to pull the heat gas through. Okay. I don't think we're quite centered close. Well, we call her good, and let's, let's pull this back. See if we can get level three out of this. But it is burning inside the uh, the uh, two inch by four inch nipple there so that's good it's right where it wants to go into the one inch. Propane's at about two-thirds. You see lots of purple from this end up the air, there's a mold, so we're going to crank it up here. Good response. Nope, we 
have a problem. It should burn back here. Turning down, there's a low turning down the propane. sensitive. May have to warm up just going by itself here. Take a temperature reading. And we're at six and a half minutes. This is an external flame, so I don't expect it to be too hot. here so I don't know if I've got enough light here or not. Okay we're at 580, 700, 800, 900, 1000, 1100, 1170, 80, Pretty cold. 1500, 1600, 17, 18, 1880, 1900. I don't know if you can see it there or not. I think I went off the chart here. 1800 Fahrenheit. 19, 19, no, close to 2000 and stops, let's put it to Celsius, when it goes up to 2000 Fahrenheit, not bad for an external burn, 900 Celsius, 1000 Celsius, Max on this is 12.50. We're at 10.80, 10.90, 1100 Celsius. Eleven twenty, thirty. Eleven twenty-five, eleven thirty, eleven thirty, one thirty-five, forty, forty-five. 1145 Celsius. Okay, it's uh, see the end of the pipe turning red. Nine, we have to come back for the second part of this. It's more or less a tagger torch now, but we want to go back inside, so we'll come, uh, call this, we'll come back in part two.